Hey everybody, welcome back. Patrick Sheridan here at the 2019 CBDNA National Conference. And I'm joined today by the director of BANTS and uh, we've got a concert coming up here in just a little bit, Dr. Andrew Yozviak. Did I say it right? Yozviak. Yo, yo, We're good. oh, not ya. Yeah. Ah, We're good. Terrible. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Yeah, glad to be here. This really is excited. awesome. Uh, we were just—I was just saying this is the first time that Westchester University has been invited to the national conference for CBDNA. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Absolutely. It's like the where the students like out of their minds over the moon when you told them that what was going to ha- what was going to go down. You guys found out like last year, right? Yeah, yeah over the thing? summer. Over the uh, summer. Wow. We just gotten back from uh, from another trip and uh, back uh, back in town for about a week. We got mm-hmm. a, an email and. Got the word out pretty quickly. Wanted to let them know what was going on for the year. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I've had every every uh, uh, conductor in here to talk about you know how they put their program together and why they chose what they chose and uh, and everybody has really great personal different reasons. So uh, this will this will uh, take us right into the lead into your show. So can you walk us through your program and? how you came up with what you came up with. This is some really interesting music on here between Husa and Messian, some like, yeah. you know, monumental pillars of the compositional world, and, and then uh, Jenny's uh, fanfare, and then Adam's uh, this new piece, uh, some, some, some new modern language uh, sort of balances out the program. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, um, when the, uh, the email came out mm-hmm. um, to the groups, uh, Richard Clary put out a... Uh, an invitation if anyone was interested in uh, programming music for Prague um, the association felt it would be a, a real uh, great gesture as a cel- in the celebration of its 50th anniversary of the premiere to have it on yep. this uh, conference program and uh, th- certainly uh, being a fan of the piece forever um, I responded I said hey if, if no one's claimed it um, we'd, we'd really really be honored to be able to perform it and I guess we were the first to respond and uh, kind of got that on there as a centerpiece. Mm -hmm. Um, From there, one of our faculty composers, um, Adam Silverman, um, has been doing some just outstanding work in the percussion community as well as some other projects he's had going on. Um, But I have um, four fifth year seniors in our percussion studio this year, uh, performance majors who have just been lighting it up for the last uh, five years they've been at the university. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, hoping to be able to do something for them in general, um, with this invitation, we asked Adam if he would compose um, a concertino uh, for these four students. So mm. it's a it's a concertino for uh, four percussion and wind ensemble. And uh, Adam's idea behind the piece was that it's a, a contemporary response to Hus's music for Prague. Mm. Uh, he'll talk a little bit about it during the actual performance before we uh, perform cool. it. Um, but just he was able to draw some similarities with uh, what was going on in 1968, uh, Czechoslovakia, and some observations he has about current times. Mm-hmm. So that's the back end of the program. Um, we, uh, we've had a, a real smooth and uh, strong development with the, the students around campus uh, over the last decade or so. And anyone who does this job knows that that doesn't happen through the work of one person. Mm. Um, we have a j- completely outstanding applied faculty, supportive administration, everything rolling in the right direction. Um, as we've grown, we've been able to add some great people uh, onto staff with us, and not the least of which is our associate director of bands, M. Gregory Martin. Mm. And uh, as we were uh, talking about programming over the summer when this first came out, he said, you know, I, I just heard this, uh, this really great transcription of this Messiaen piece. Um, give it a listen. You know, tell me what you think. And uh, it's, it's just powerful and some really interesting colors that David J. Miller has uh, brought out of the piece in his transcription. And uh, Greg has done some great work with the students in preparing it, and uh, he'll conduct it. Um, so we were just down to how do we start the program. Right. And uh, we, uh, we wanted to do something locally. And, uh, you know, our friend Jennifer Higdon yeah. uh, in Philadelphia um, has uh, just a extremely uh, wealthy repertoire. And we were able to uh, draw on this piece and talk to her. And uh, we said, yeah, I'd, I'd love for her to play it. And uh, she was out to uh, work with us a couple of days ago. And oh, great. just a perfect send off. So. Mm-hmm. That's a great program. That's a, it's very cool. So this is, uh, how old is the is the Messian transcription? 
This is the Apparition de Église Eternelle, right? This is the yeah. piece. So the 2018, it's new. It's new, the, the transcription. Yeah, is I think it's actually, I think the transcription is actually 2012. Oh, something around yeah. there, just a um, little bit. And he's, uh, he's performed it with uh, the Navy Band once, mm -hmm. and they did a recording session of that. And I think he said there were a couple other uh, spotty collegiate kind of performances, but probably something that should be in our consciousness a little bit more. It's Absolutely. Uh, it's really well done. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, it, the uh, do you find that the well, it's cool that you sort of bookend the what Adam's done as a response to the Husha. That's a very cool uh, <laughs> programmatic um, uh, arc uh, in the music. Do you find that the I talked about this with Tom because they have a piece that talks about similar kind of social mm -hmm. injustices mm -hmm. happening right now that they're going to play on the program coming up that the, the students really appreciate having a subject material that speaks to, I mean, everybody that's in your undergraduate program right now has grown up in the United States, if they're from the U.S., have only grown up in knowing a time when we've been at war. Yeah. Uh, so to <laughs> have pieces like this that are talking about some of the things that not only just involved in war, but all the things that sort of the machine around information and yeah. presentation and spin mm -hmm. uh, as a way to express themselves musically uh, f f because it must be frustrating for them to only know it this way. Yeah, and the students are are just so in tune with uh, with what's going on and and active and want to share their voices. Um, so I think to to have the opportunity to be involved in a project like this is uh, is in some ways just kind of empowering um, and uh, sends them a message that you know we we need to stand up and literally pound our fists every once in a while and say, this, this isn't right, mm -hmm. you know, if, if we feel that. You know. And as he gets to the end of the composition, there's some pretty, pretty strong symbol gestures where he's, it's a visual as well as musical expression of literally pounding his fists it's on the table. Mm -hmm. So it's powerful. That's a cool part about percussion, yeah. is that there's a, an element that's a visual part that yeah, can yeah, tell yeah. a story sure. in the music. Uh, yeah, that's great. I think that's the th thing that's the been the most interesting about the the it's anybody's music, but in the in the most powerful pieces of music from the last eight nine years of wind band comp compositions, there's a, a, a very much a some of Jim Stevenson's music, yeah. the Charleston piece. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. it's uh, taking very raw now things and 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 uh, providing a musical either outcry or objection or memorial yeah. or a combination of those things has been uh, well it's a reflection of the times yeah. that there's that 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 is the fodder for people's imagination but uh, I think more important now than than ever before uh, one of the pieces I use a lot when I do honor bands is uh, Dan Buckfitch's Symphony Number no. 1 oh, sure. it's in memoriam Dresden right yeah. about the allied bombing of uh, of Dresden and uh um, but for some of these, it's one of those achievable pieces for, for high school kids that can have the same thing on the last page of the music. You are, everybody has the same I I notation, and you're literally, in with conduction, making a, a bombing happen. Yeah. Um, and then the aftermath that follows that. And uh, I've just found the students, are gr they need this type of expression because it's just the... It's just two dimensional for them. We're just watching it on a screen somewhere, yeah, and it's yeah. seeing. And it's like it's just almost almost like a, you know, their material. It's like the types of things that make connections that last well beyond their their schooling years. For sure. Which has got to be sure. super gratifying for you to be able to leave that kind of trail, for your students. Uh, it's it's exciting, you know. Like it's it's part of the responsibility of the gig, um, that we don't always get to talk about, but um, in forums like this, um, when you when you can do something that's as meaningful as this and connect uh, different events over time, uh, I, I hope that, you know, it's something that is going to ring with the students and become a little bit more lasting than just playing the concert. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, those are the those are the ones that they remember. I've, I've worked with a lot of professional musicians that are at near the end of their career, some of them having trouble with their chops, whatever their chops are. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so when somebody gets in trouble with their chops, they start going backwards through all the teachers they've ever had and all the people they've ever uh, information and trying to use that information to try to change the direction of the, what's happening which is in a negative spiral right sure. um, and uh, so they remember every teacher they've ever had and every conductor they've ever had and, and a lot
lot of what they remember when they're 40, 50, 60 years past um, was certainly not the trophies. It's never the number that they got at a rating. Uh, uh, sometimes they remember the repertoire, but they all remember feelings. They all remember connections. They all remember those types of things that are really emotional. Yeah. And those are the things that last their whole life, their whole careers at the end. And, when they, and then a lot of times they haven't thought about it, but then when they're working their way back through looking for information to help their change the direction of their career they're also then coming across all these memories and they're and they're they're always emotional ones they're not specific to a measure of music yeah, sure. or certainly a yeah. a trophy or anything like that and uh, uh I, I think so that this is this, the gravity and the emotional content that's here is is awesome so i look we look forward to hearing this for sure and uh uh, uh it's got to be fun how about uh, have the students had a chance to, to hear any of the other groups just got in town last night. So, actually, so, so yeah, after this, we did we did a run out at a, a local high school where uh, an alum is teaching. Oh, cool! Uh, pretty fresh job for him, and it was it was kind of nice to make that connection mm -hmm. too. Um, you know, played a little bit with his kids and did something for their community. So it was. That's fun. wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Well, toy, toy, toy. <laughs> Break a leg. Have thank a great <laughs> show, and uh, my best to you and your students. And uh, thank you so much for for bringing this really thoughtful and interesting program we look forward to hearing it i'm pretty excited pat Good. Thank thanks you. andrew man good yeah. to see you